Hi everybody. This is one of those videos about um, stuff that we kind of go, why the heck is this here? And this is a THD head. Now these were quite the rage a while back, these THDs. This is made by an old friend of mine, Andy Marshall. And you'd think THD would be a term for total harmonic distortion, which is a common reference point for amplifiers, tube amplifiers, but it actually stands for Andy's two hairy dogs. For real. Honestly. The, the thing about these amplifiers, and I've, I've unscrewed the top, is that you can change the power tube to anything you want. It's a single-ended amplifier, meaning it has one tube, and you can put anything in there you want to. 6v6, 5881, Whatever you'd like to do, you can put in there. It's built extremely durable. It has a, um, a built-in hot plate, so you can turn it down and get it down to low volume levels, and it kind of interrupts the signal. You can also unplug the speaker cabinet. It won't harm the amplifier. I have here as well, this is something that's been here for a while that we're like, what the heck? 2014 Les Paul Custom Light, and look how skinny that is. See that? That is a Les Paul with a nice flamey top, um, an oxblood finish, ah, wine red, ah, whatever you want to call it. perhaps. There's a high power, low power switch. tube you want. You don't have to change anything, you don't have to modify anything. We can turn it off, always turn it off first, and then you can just replace the tube. I do it right now, but it's really hot. Uh, so this is a THD head that is for you guys that like to tinker, and especially tinker with a selection of tubes. It's kind of cool. Uh, this used to belong to Steve, who was our repair guy, and at $7.99, um, and we'd include tax and shipping on that. It's kind of a cool amplifier. There's lots of features on here, the THD amplifier, and this too is a nice lightweight Les Paul. It's got all the gravitas of a Les Paul with a mahogany body, maple top, there's just a little less mahogany, and they wear well, and um, they, they fit the body a little better than the Les Paul, and certainly a lot lighter. Gold hardware, big inlays, ebony board, all the things you'd want on a Les Paul Custom with less weight. How's that for a video? See you later.